Hey guys, Hazzy here bringing you another video, this time on Vladimir top lane. And now currently Vladimir is actually my best performing champion. If you go on LOL King, if you go on my rank stats and you click the performance tab, uh, Vladimir is my best performing champion. And now I was pretty surprised in this fact, but I have actually been playing quite a bit of Vladimir recently as I think he's really, really strong. Uh, he has an okay lane phase, but when he brings stuff to late game into team fights, yeah, there's not much stuff that can beat him in a team fight. He increases a your you know the team's damage on targets that are affected by his Hemo Plague by 12%. That's a lot. Now, right now we're going in for a like kind of an invade. Uh, you see, Renekton is tabbed out or he's typing and can't react in time. Uh, basically, when we went for the um, invade because they have a Blitzcrank, and this is. Some people may be taken back by this, but if they have a Blitzcrank, a lot of the time you want to invade them because you know they want they want to invade you. So if we get in position before they do, we can actually make what we just happened, you know, happen. We got first blood on the Renekton. Uh, most, I think everybody got an assist, and I think Twitch actually got the kill. Now, uh, I am asking who burned what because I think a lot of summoners went down there. Uh, Renekton will have burnt his flash. There was I saw an ignite go off. I saw exhaust. I saw flashes. Uh, so there was quite a lot um, that you know went off. Uh, now the team comps in this game are we have a Nami Twitch bot lane, we have a Fizz mid, uh, we have a Vladimir top obviously, and we have a Nasus jungle. It's a pretty decent team, I would say, that we let the Fizz basically go in and snipe somebody, uh, and then we have us for protecting the Twitch and basically clumping in a ball because our AOE with a Twitch, Nasus, Nami, and Vlad is very very high. Uh, so we just have to play this game quite smart. Now, I wanted to just quickly say in this game, you will see see good things and you will see bad things. I think this is quite a long game, being about 30 to 40 minutes long. It might even be longer. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, so <laughs> get ready for the long haul in this one. But yeah, I do good things in this game and I do bad things. And I will point them all out. I am not in any means an expert of Vladimir. As I said, I've only recently picked him up. Uh, I've picked him up maybe two weeks ago. Uh, now, obviously, I knew the champion before I actually played him because, you know, I've played in different seasons with him and he's a fairly easy champion to mechanically play. Um, but yeah, I, 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 know, I know the champion, but as I said, it's quite surprising that he's actually my best performing champion right now. Uh, now, Renekton is in lane against me. I picked Vladimir into Renekton because I think it's a fairly safe lane for me if I play smart early on. Now, there is a kill for bot lane, pretty good, uh, well played by them. Uh, but going back onto the point of safeness, now, uh, Vladimir, as you can see my summoners, I've gone for Ghost Flash. And with these summoners, you can play extremely safe. Like, you can uh, maybe overextend a little bit and use Ghost to get out as well as your W. Now, Nasus is coming in for a gank, as you see, it is Galzik on uh, the Nasus. But yeah, he just dices away or slice, whichever the first one is, and he manages to get out. And uh, now I would say Vladimir is one of the best champions at pushing a wave and getting general CS. He's a very, very easy champion to CS with. Uh, but you have to be careful to push the waves at the right time. Now, I've pushed the wave up to a certain amount, but I'm basically going to be denied farm. And there could be a fiddle anywhere near, and I don't want to be in this situation. So I am going to take this opportunity to go back and buy a Doran Shield. Now, Doran Shield is one of the best early items in the game right now. And... As for its cost, it's fairly cheap. It is good health, good mana, uh, good health regen, and with the passive, it makes people's auto attacks do slightly less. I think it's eight or so, uh, maybe five. But it, it's a very, very, very good item, especially on Vlad because buying health gives me AP. You know, his passive works that way. Uh, now I do time the blue buff just because um, Galzik. I don't know how he missed the little minion, um, and yeah, it forced him to basically have to go back after the gank, and it delayed the blue buff quite a lot. Now in mid lane you will see a few derps this game. Now the, the quality of this game is uh, high diamond now. I would probably say high diamond or mid to high diamond. As of right now I am in promotion series to diamond 2. I have actually jumped up quite a bit in the weekend that I didn't stream. I had a little break and uh, yeah I climbed quite a bit in that weekend. Uh, now here's the point in the game where everything goes. It was started really well. But then things kind of start to turn a little bit. And you will see this in this game that this is very apparent throughout the whole game we have this game now i would say throughout the whole game we are generally in the lead uh, from what i know or we're not in a very panicky situation now the nami in this game was a bit annoying but generally i did i wasn't really worried that we would lose this game the only thing i was worried about that if we didn't come together and work as a team then we'd lose but you know throughout the game things happen so you'll be able to see ups and downs i suppose 
Uh, now, I was going to go back and buy, but I'm a bit of a gold off getting my spirit uh, stone item. As if you don't know, now you might be completely new to Vlad, and you don't know the best build for Vlad, for Vlad is getting that Spectral Wraith. It is an amazing item for him, uh, especially now that Will of the Ancients has got nerfed. You know, people don't build Will of the Ancients anymore, unfortunately. You know, it used to be an item for Mordekaiser, Cassiopeia, uh, Vladimir, where, you know, you don't build it. You generally get just the Spectral or the... Um, the spectral wraith and yeah that's enough it gives you wave clear more so than you know any other champion really as it gives you 20 percent more damage to minions and it gives you sustain with the revolver it is such a brilliant item for vladimir yes you are wasting a bit of the gold on uh, mana regen which you won't be using but all in all it's still a very good item uh, so generally what I do on Vladimir is I get the Spectral Wraith first and then I start building tanky. Now this is different to what a lot of lads do and that's the one thing I'll say. If you play Vladimir and you play him slightly differently and it works for you, this is what I say all the time. If it works for you, don't change it. These are the commentaries and these are kind of, you know, these are kind of commentaries that I think would help people that don't know the champion at all or maybe just want a little bit of advice or see how I high alone people, you know, play the champion. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, well actually now you can see that I did say the game started to turn a little bit and the fact that they've just got a double kill in mid. Now the, the Fizz honestly did a bit of derping. Now the Fizz did make up for this late game, I will say, but he has derped a fair amount already in lane. Uh, the way he died to Fiddle early on, he, uh, went in under tower and Fiddle and before he could troll pole out or his user's E, Fiddle just feared him into tower and he just died to tower. And now that just happened, I think he dove again. So, yeah, it's a bit questionable. So, the lane of Vladimir versus Renekton. Uh, now, this Renekton, are, like, questionably has attack speed. Now, I would never really get attack speed on Renekton. I like having just pure AD and just chunking people. Uh, where this guy wants to go for more sustain attack attacks, and I, I don't really like that. But if it works for him, great. But he did fairly well in this lane, I will say. I think he does come out in this lane on in you know on top, uh, but I'm able basically to survive um, even though he's built double Dorans. Now having double Dorans um, basically makes him a very early pressure, and I by no means want to fight him. Sure, I'll poke him every now and then. I might get hit by him every now and then, but I really shouldn't die to him unless there is jungle pressure. And that is one thing you will see, and it will be apparent in this game that I only really die in the lane phase uh, when there is a jungle gank and. But you might see that actually soon from memory. This game was earlier today. I am doing this um, pretty much a, I think it was about an hour early, um, ago. I get, got some food and did some other things. And yeah, basically just doing the Vlad commentary. I said the Vlad one was next. Uh, I thought LOL Replay was fixed. And I will quickly say I would like to do a couple from LOL Replay so you can see the whole perspective in the map. If there's a boring phase in top lane, you won't have to see that or something like that. Uh, but yeah, LOL Replay is still broken for me, unfortunately. I tried to fix it. I thought I fixed it, but it didn't work. Um, so we're stuck with this full game commentaries right now with no uh, game sound, which I know is a bit annoying, um, but I, I think it still can help people. I think it's ideal if um, you have your own music in the background, you know, pretty quiet, so you have a bit of sound apart from my voice. Maybe that's the best way. Uh, and maybe I should add music, but being, um, you know, I am a partner now with Curse, so I may have options to add more music, but I'll have to look into that. Uh, so going to go back to bass now gonna pick up i think i pick up an amp tome right now gives me a bit more damage gives me a bit more health um i think from playing vlad if uh, I'm, I'm not mistaken i think they do vice versa things now you can see fiddle is relatively near the bot lane and he is looking for ganks i think he is level six right now so he is actually a pretty threat stage and uh, renekton has decided to go back and uh, he's a fizz tp so he's using the tp that he got now fiddle would have seen that tp right next to him Twitch manages to pick up one of the kill, or pick up the vein, but then the fiddle ult comes charging in and it's pretty much gonna kill. Okay, he just kills the, the um, Twitch and then fiddle, oh, fizz, sorry, is gonna pick up both the double kills. So pretty well played, that's what I say. He did a bit of derping earlier on, but he does make up for it and he does actually do quite well this game. There are, you know, some questionable things and everybody in this game uh, does do questionable things. Um, as I was saying earlier, this is a high ELO game. I'm in promotion to Diamond 2, and because I'm duo, duo queuing right now, it does go generally off my MMR, but being duo queue, it also raises my MMR. Uh, so the people you see in this game will generally be Diamond 2 on average. Uh, so it's a fairly decent level. Uh, I occasionally get with Diamond 1s, uh, but yeah, it's generally Diamond 3s and um, Diamond 2s right now, which is basically my level. 
um, being in promotion series to Diamond 2. Now you can see Renekton is trying to do as much damage to me as possible. He has picked up his Spectral Cowl, which honestly is a very, very good item versus Vladimir. One of the best, not if the best item versus Vladimir, but it is also actually very good for Vladimir himself. It gives him the healing effects and it will give me ML. I will be building that later on into the Spirit Visage as it's a you, you can't ignore that item on vladimir it gives him 20 percent more healing potential on pretty much every single one of his spells with the you know his um spectral wraith also healing him uh, as well as some mr and mr in this game is actually pretty good they've got quite a big threat they got fiddle ari renekton does magic damage and then they've got blitzcrank so all them do magic damage now you're about to see i think a bad situation for myself if my memory serves correct uh, any moment now unless it's not now um, but I think it was. So I'm playing play fairly passive, as you can see. I'm kind of expecting something to happen uh, relatively soon. Maybe a fiddle gank coming from a bush in river or something. And I, I'm still playing passive, you know. But then, yeah, here it is. Could not do a thing about it. I, as I say, I was suspecting a little bit here and there. Like, I was playing a little bit defensive. Um, but I didn't expect it from that. I should have. I maybe should have played even more defensive. But I wanted to still get some CS and not go far behind. And uh, now, I think the reason why this Renekton has got attack speed in his runes is because he actually wants to body down towers. Uh, it's an odd way to play Renekton. I will say when I play Renekton and Renekton, I play fairly well. Um, I will never go attack speed on him. I'll never even go Blade of the Ruin King on Renekton. I know people build it, and if it works, good. And I know it's actually been used in LCS, but generally, I'm someone on Renekton that likes to just dash in, use my QW, whatever combo, having more AD possible to do as much damage, and then just run out. And uh, not auto-attacking them a lot, maybe once or twice um, per, you know, little engage. So he has actually taken the top tower, which is actually quite a big blow. Uh, to the team right now it's only 12 minutes in and he already got top tower so it's a bit yeah a bit of a bad situation and this is what i say this game is not all hunky dory things happen good things happen bad uh, and we basically just have to work as a team and try and get through it and if we can then we are actually a very good state now fizz does get ganked by fiddle in mid uh, now fiddle is actually a very popular pick and he's He's fairly strong. I will say Fiddle is a fairly strong jungler, but he can get countered easily. Now, unfortunately, in this game, um, we don't have anything really to counter him. We didn't actually go for countering him. Where if, I think Jarvan was banned this game, and Jarvan is a very big counter to Fiddle, because just in his basic combo of his EQ, which is up a lot of the time, he can basically stop Fiddle up straight away. And it's a very, very good champion to play against Fiddle. Now, you have other junglers, like maybe a Vi is very good against Fiddle as well. Uh, stuff basically can just stun him because obviously Anasus doesn't have any hard CC himself so he can't stop the fiddle. Our only two ways of stopping a fiddle ult right now is Nami hitting a skill shot bubble or, or Fizz hitting his skill shot ult at the right time that he'll get knocked up in the air. Uh, so yeah, as you can see, there are fiddle ults that happen in team fights that are a bit annoying. Uh, but honestly, we can't do much about it right now. Uh, I picked Vladimir top because I'm, I'm very comfortable with him at the moment. Now, I think I might have done a derp here, and yes, I did. Right now, I could pick up my Spectral Wraith, um, because it's only a 150 or so upgrade after you buy them components. And yeah, I totally derped and didn't buy it. I don't know why. Now, there is a very bad ganking up like situation going for our bot lane, and Fizz comes through River, and he continues to move through River. Uh, Nasus goes over to try and basically just help him out and stop them killing him, uh, but I don't even think anybody can stop anything happening right now uh, i do over shoot where i want to go because i'm watching the bot lane fight but yeah that's a really bad situation uh, this is what i mean by this game is i wouldn't say a good well obviously being these commentaries you know this game will actually end in a win so maybe it's a good opportunity for you guys to see how can you turn a game back around uh, right now i'm not panicking in this game that we're going to lose um, because we have a very, very strong late game. Uh, especially, well, they have a vein, but we have a Twitch. They are very, I would say, even in late game if we can protect the Twitch, where a vein has to get a bit more aggressive, a bit more in your face, uh, where a Twitch can really stay back and just keep firing his um, his ultimate. Uh, so I do eventually pick up the Spectre Wraith. I don't know why I didn't pick it up before, but it wouldn't make a big difference. Now, they do pick up the Dragon, but as a Constellation prize, find the vein and kill her. So it doesn't make up for everything that's happened. Uh, but at least he gets a bit extra gold. He will probably get full value 300 for that kill. Uh, so yeah, it's it's okay. 
Um, but yeah, I'm on 100 CS at 15 odd minutes, which is, mm, it could be a lot better. Let's just say that. But there has been, you know, I've been ganked. There has been opportunities where I've had to stay back because I'm a bit worried about the Renekton. I have played a bit passive in this lane as obviously he has already taken my tower. And with a fiddle, he's able to jump over walls with his ultimate. He can just flash and then ultimate. Uh, so I do have to play very, you know, p fairly passive um, compared to what I normally do. Now, what I normally do as a Vladimir is I poke as much as I can. But this Renekton getting early Doran's blades, he's actually not really countered it, but he's managed to deal with it quite well. Uh, I poked him as much early as possible, but then when he got the spectral cow, honestly, without any magic pen apart from my runes, yeah, there's not going to be much I could do. Hit le level 11. So, yeah, level 11 Vlad is fairly strong. And I will quickly go over runes and masteries because people do ask me to do them. And, yeah, I should really put them in the description or something. And maybe I will this video. But I'll quickly go over them. Uh, right now, a my runes are... Uh, now, quickly, I'll quickly just watch this engage here. Sorry. I use my ghost to try and get there, but they just go one for one with Nasus getting an assist. But anyway, going back on my runes and masteries. Runes, I'm running um, AP Quints, uh, Magic Pen Reds, Health per year health per level yellows and ap per level blues i think um it's a pretty good setup for vlad don't really need need magic resist uh, versus ad's top and i don't even have armor now sometimes i will take armor i do have an option that has armor in it in my runes i do have about 18 rune pages or so um but honestly being a renekton he can't really just instantly burst me early on uh, so that's kind of why i didn't opt for getting the armor I'd prefer the health because, yeah, I like being a really tanky Vlad. If you can't tell already, I am going to start building into the tank Vlad I love to play. And now tank Vlad is, well, it, I say tank Vlad, he's not really a tank. I wouldn't recommend going 1v5 into a team and thinking you're going to survive because you won't. Um, but he does a, quite a bit of damage. He has a lot of sustain. And, yeah, he should be able to survive quite a bit. But the Vayne does get fairly strong this game. And she will do damage to me. So I have to be fairly cautious of the Vayne. Um, but yeah, Vlad is an awesome champion. Now, the masteries I use in this game are 15-15. Uh, I think it's the best setup for Vlad because normally if you go 21-9 on Vlad, you find you're too squishy and you'll basically get killed if it doesn't work out in the right situation. Or if you go 9-21, you won't have enough damage to kill people. So the way I work around it is going 15-15. It uh, gives me damage and gives me tankiness. And it's just generally the page I love to use. Uh, I think I got it from, I think it was either Dyrus or Voiboy. They were once playing uh, Vlad in solo queue and they explained about masteries. And they're the ones they used in that game. And then from then on, I've kind of just, it just clicked that, oh, they're really good. Uh, so that's kind of what I kind of use. Uh, they can also work for Rumble because Rumble is a very similar champion um, to Vlad. And it can also work for Kennen. Um, now, Fizz is, this is one of the derpy moments that he knows Renekton is there. Yet he continues to go that way. It's a bit questionable. I don't know if he got caught in mid or something. Uh, but there are about three people in the area. Now, you're probably asking, when am I going to start making an impact on this game? Well, honestly, I can't remember. <laughs> but Vladimir, in general, is a champion that excels at team fights. Um, if you don't know, his Hemo Plague at max rank, whatever, uh, will increase. When it's affected on a target, it increases their damage taken by 12%. That's all damage. Uh, so that could be Ignite, that could be a spell from a different champion on your team. It's an awesome teamfight ability. And plus you have your W that you can get in the middle of a teamfight. Then your E that's spreading it all and then you have your Q for sustain. So Vladimir, as I say, when we get into teamfight stage, that's when I will start excelling and making a difference in this game. And now Renekton has left lane. I think he's maybe just going over and warding somewhere. And yeah, he comes back. So I do have to be fairly careful this Renekton. I don't think we can kill each other, you know, straight out right right now. Um, he's got his Spirit Visage and Merc Treads. I've got no Magic Pen right now. So, yeah, right now he does have pressure on me. Uh, unfortunately, Nasus getting caught a little bit there by the Blitz, Fiddle, and Ari combo. And he does go down. So right now the kills, we are actually negative. Um, but still, I'm not panicking. And that's probably the best thing you can do when you're in solo queue is not to panic not panic in chat that you're going to lose not playing the blame game already when you're in the game sure talk about it after when the game is you know done but it makes no sense complaining to someone when the game is still active because you'll just make the the mood in the game worse and that's basically what wins on loses ranked games and a lot of people don't really understand that 
Um, but yeah, the mentality of people when they're going into ranked is actually very, very big in the impact of winning and losing. And you've got to be very uh, careful of how you approach it in the fact that if you complain about someone or you abuse someone, they're not going to be very nice to you. They're not going to play as well if they're getting abused. Uh, so you just got to be generally careful. Now, I was thinking of going over and helping uh, with a kind of team fight type deal, but Renekton, being uh, the annoying guy he is, is just constantly just splitting the top lane. Now, as you can see, my damage is doing very little to him. I am queuing him pretty much every time I can. Uh, I do go in front of him just to get a bit of more damage on him. And the thing is, I do have more sustain uh, than this Renekton does. Uh, but he probably does have in, you know, more damage. And that's probably what you'd expect with this matchup. He went double uh, Doran's Blades just to get early damage and early pressure. So I couldn't go full out on him. Uh, and then he built into tanky with getting Merc Trade and Spirit Visage, which is awesome items on Renekton versus, especially, you know, a Vladimir or an AP top. Even Spirit Visage versus an AD does okay, even though it does give you MR. I wouldn't recommend building it your first item, uh, but giving your health regen, your CDR, and your uh, healing percentage, yeah, it, it's a really, really good item. Now, they are getting rather a bit caught here. Fiddle Ult does go off. As well as Nami ult. Now, ah, that's one thing earlier I forgot to say. Nami ult can cancel Fiddle uh, ult as well. So we have a couple things can stop him. Now, there is a small team fight going on. Fid uh, Fizz is basically being a beast. And he's doing a lot of damage. And there you go. He is doing an insane amount of damage. And they don't even need me. I do use my ghost again. So that's the second time this game I've used my ghost to try and get into a team fight. Uh, but unable to. And well played to my team. They come out on that team fight in up top. Um, now that would by no means that start of that team fight was good they got caught by a blitzcrank fiddle fiddle managed to get his ultimate off and yeah they were in a bit of trouble uh, but they managed to turn it around which is really good now renekton can you continuing to be top i am trying to clear the way that's why i'm using my w i am going to just sustain that up straight away but yeah there's nothing really i can do now he is tanking the turret now um, so I think I actually might ultimate onto him and try and do as much damage as I can. But he uses Slice and Dice just to get away. And as you can see, I really don't do much damage to him. My Q actually does a fair amount of damage. Uh, but my whole combo really doesn't do much in burst-wise. And that's the way I have to just play this lane. There's not much I can do about it. Uh, maybe I should build some Magic Pen you know, relatively soon. But as I said, I like getting a, to a very tanky state, especially when I'm playing Vlad. Um, because that's the, generally the way I love to play. Uh, now I'm going to continue pushing the top. Now I don't have much vision here, so I have to be fairly careful. Um, I think I might just push this wave and either go ward or base. Um, I do want to have top tower relatively soon. He has got two towers in top, so I, yeah, it's a bit annoying. Now as you can see on the minimap, um, Vane and Fiddle are moving in for me. Now I think the Fiddle has movement speed boots. Yeah, he is moving way too quick not to have them. I W to try and avoid the fear. Then I flash to try and avoid the fear. And so far so good, but he does manage to get in range. Now this isn't an all bad situation because if you look where my team is, they are doing some stuff. It's not a totally bad situation. They managed to kill the Ari, uh, which I would say is probably a better trade for an, you know, an Ari to a Vlad right now. Uh, I'm not in a very amazing situation. Now, here's where my team kind of derps. They should have just flat out run at the fiddle vein, and they should have expected any second now a fiddle ult. This was very, very obvious, but I think they're going to try and do the most they can out of this situation. But honestly, there's not much they can do. They maybe can get one or two more kills, and that's about it. So, not a great situation. And this, I think, is in the start of the game where Nami becomes a bit of a pain. And becomes a you know a moaning myrtle if you want to use that phrase from harry potter um she tries to surrender a few times throughout this game and yeah that was a bad fight but they still managed to get certain things out there you know the blitzcrank's fairly low um sure the vein actually did very well that you know fight um but yeah if we were 5v5 i'm very confident we'd actually you know win this lane or win this team fights because obviously vlad adds quite a lot now as you can see, Vayne is doing a lot of damage to me. I use my ultimate to try and just do a bit more damage to her, seeing what I can do. And yeah, you can see I'm not doing much damage right now. And I'm not really expecting to. Um, my items so far are very little damage. I've only got 120 AP. So it's generally okay, I guess. But basically my build so far is lane presence in the fact that I'm 
basically not letting the Renekton kill me 1v1, and it's worked so far. My only times I've died has been to that pretty good fiddle gank that I basically could do nothing against when he ganked from the bush, and then the vein and the fiddle chasing me. Um, so yeah, we just need to ward and stop the fiddle ulting us, but as I said earlier, we do have very little spells that actually can stop the fiddle using his ultimate. So it, it's just a bit of a, a tricky situation, I'd say. Um, now I just say a single, you know, a pretty obvious statement we just need to ward to stop the fiddle ulting and then nami comes out with a pretty defensive line of did i buy a single word ward this game and obviously i have um so yeah we're we're in an okay situation i'm going to start grouping relatively near my team right now and seeing if we can do anything blitzcrank gets bubbled um but that's pretty much about it now here's a situation where the game turns again and yes it does turn again and it's a game that is a bit odd in this fact. Now, I'm going to probably try and get the four stacks of the E up before this team fight happens, or try and get them throughout the fight. So I've got uh, two right now, and here comes the fight. So uh, Vayne and Fiddle come in from basically different sides. Uh, I use my ultimate. I don't even think I hit many of them. Uh, I get an assist on the Vayne, and then we continue to fight. So that was a very poor team fight by our enemy team very very poor they come in from different angles they leave the vein completely by herself uh, so yeah very very good by my team we managed to basically just make it work and we're just going to start the baron we may as well we got five up but we do have to still be a bit careful of a blitzcrank um, grab and this is one thing nami doesn't do very well uh, so this nami as i said is a bit of a moaning person and yeah she gets grabbed and gets killed so it is a bit annoying uh, but oh well and as you can see, I'm still full health after that team fight. I have so much sustain and I'm so tanky, they will have to do quite a lot to kill me in a team fight. Well, Vayne will do a fair, fair amount of damage to me, but other than Vayne, I think I'm at a pretty solid situation right now. So I think right now I might start building AP. Yes, finally. Um, I build a Seeker's Arm God, uh, which will eventually build into a Zonya's. Uh, basically, that is to help me against the Vayne, but it also will give me some AP. So... I am starting to get stronger. I'm starting to get to the Vlad situation you want to be. I've got over 200 CS now in this game. So there's a fair amount of CS to have uh, when you're going into the teamfight stage. And that's definitely something we want to do. We are, we've are we got Baron. Uh, we are fairly strong. The Fizz, uh, this is a bit questionable. He does get up. So well, that's pretty good. Uh, but he does go down. Now, you'd maybe want to say worth in that because it is a vein after all and vein obviously late game is a lot better than well not really better than a fizz because a fizz can one shot people but uh fizz had baron buff on him so yeah it's not a great situation for him just to suicide dying really now my damage right now you can see it's actually improving i managed to chunk the fiddler quite a bit and he did actually heal a little bit from his drain right there and here is a really dodgy situation by the enemy team they group up and here's my ult goes in all three of them Ari moves from the side. Now, one thing I want to note, well, excuse this. Hopefully, we don't miss too much. Twitch buff. Uh, so, any second should resume. There we go. Um, but, yeah, Ari does not have flash this game. Now, Tidal Wave and Ride the Wave. She picks up a double, double kill with her ult. That's pretty cool. Uh, so, that's a very bad situation for the enemy team to be at. Um, but, yeah, um, as I was saying, Ari does not have flash this game, which is questionable. But I understand why she did it. Uh, Fizz is a all-in champion that will literally kill her fairly easily by himself, um, just one on one at level six, and she's got she's opted for the ignite barrier, which ignite still gives her kill potential, more kill potential obviously than she wouldn't have without it. Um, but then having the barrier is basically there just to survive the Fizz burst. So I understand why she did it. I personally would never do it because I'd be confident enough to think I could dodge um, the Fizz ult with my my own ultimate as Ari, but obviously she's not that confident in this matchup. Now I am, I think, just going to simply push this wave uh, to try and just get pressure onto a different tower. We see Vayne has moved into the area and she is fairly strong, so I don't really want to fight her one-on-one, -on -one, I would think, or maybe I derp, I don't know. Uh, and I, I, well, there we go, I do decide to eventually just back off. Um, so I've got relatively a, a good amount of gold in my pocket, but I want a little bit more. I think I want enough to get the uh, needlessly large rod, which will have either build into, I think, a Zonya's as the first big item for AP, and then eventually I will build the death cap after it. Now, Fizz is being the crazy man that we all know and love, and he is looking for a pick right here. So he does move in for the Ari, but they, they see it, and Ari just dodges it with her, you know, just moves out the way with the ultimate. 
So that is Ariel down, and as she doesn't have flash, that's actually pretty good. And Fizz's ult will probably be up in the next, I don't know, 40 odd seconds. Now we probably do want to look for another team fight right now. Um, as we are in a pretty good situation, we still have Baron for the next about 30 seconds or so. So if you can get something happening in that time, that'd be great. Uh, but I think relatively soon we're going to see one of my derp moments of the game, uh, I think. Um, so, you know, people have them. You can't really stop people having derp moments. They'll always exist in League of Legends at any level. And, you know, they happen in LCS. Uh, so you just have to be pretty damn careful and try and basically the better player you are, you'll do less derp moments. And that's the way I look at it. You can never fully get rid of them. Um, so I am keeping the four stacks of Tides of Blood on as that will increase my damage and sustain by quite a bit. Um, obviously, every single time I use it, it gives me a stack, but it will also take a little bit off my health. But with the Spirit Visage, I should just regen it up straight away. Now, I think here comes a team fight relatively soon. I think I get grabbed, but it's actually a pretty good grab. So I get grabbed, and then I use my ultimate, and I managed manage to get my ultimate on three of them, uh, including the Vein. So that's not actually a terrible situation to be in. I use my Ghost and my Flash to basically just survive. Um, so that was a small derp moment, I will say, by my part. Getting grabbed like that is near, but it's an okay situ like target to be grabbed as a Vladimir because I can just go down straight away with my W. Uh, as well, I got my Hemo Plague on three of them, and that helped the team fight quite a bit. Um, so yeah, it was an okay situation, but I'd prefer not to get grabbed uh, overall. Now, I do have 2200 gold, and 2100 is the cost of the Zonyas. So I think I will pick up the Zonyas right now. Um, and yeah, that's... I'm in a pretty good situation. Um, I know I've been saying this, and throughout the game, um, you know, it's, I'm I'm fairly strong. I've got the Zonyas now, so if I get grabbed again, I either can go down in W, or I can just Zonyas straight away, so I have both of them potential. Uh, so that's pretty good. So we get the bot lane, and now we want to move over to top. We want to make sure we get every single tower possible in this game, basically just to pressure them into their base. And uh, now we do have to be fairly careful. Um, that there is a vein in the game and if you do leave a vein alone too long uh, then she will probably just kill everything um, we definitely need to make sure that either a fizz well a fizz actually did very well in that game in that team fight sorry that he killed the fiddle straight away and that basically stopped a lot of their aoe damage their fiddle has been winning them a lot of these team fights landing his ultimates that type of thing so killing the fiddle straight out is pretty good but you know honestly i'd prefer to kill uh, a vein because they're basically hoping the vein can carry them, and that's pretty much every single team fight that a vein is in. Uh, you hope a vein can carry. No, I did. I don't really know why I continued running there. Uh, maybe just looked on the other screen for a split second. Now here comes an engage, which is actually pretty good for us. They're flanking from the right, uh, but I think Fizz actually finds somebody else. Uh, so I think he's just going to instantly kill them. Or Twitch finds the area, which is great. Uh, now, I am hoping that Nami will do Tidal Wave by now, but she hasn't managed to cast it yet. Uh, I was looking to do an ultimate there, and I think I might do it any second. Uh, Fiddle has moved in from the side with his ultimate. I'm going to slow him up with uh, mine. And I, I'm basically, I think I just stay and finish the kill. Yep, there we go. Now, uh, honestly, I think at this stage the team fight is kind of over. None of us have gone down yet. Uh, but if you look on the minimap, there is a small fight still going on with Twitch. Uh, Renekton and Nasus and I think Twitch is trying to survive from the Renekton and Nasus is doing his best job to try and stop it also from happening um, but yeah I, it's kind of funny so here you can see he's doing the best possible now that as you can see there's the vein damage it's quite a lot right now uh, so here we <laughs> it's pretty funny I will add I think Renekton does get fed up and just flashes on top of the Twitch which is yeah okay I guess and we managed to get the first inhib Fizzle goes down, he does miss it, but Vayne just manages to run into it, and it does like half of her health, which is pretty awesome. Now, here's a pretty funny, and this was awesome. Twitch manages to pick up the kill from Baron onto the Renekton. It was really, really odd. And, yeah, we say re Gals goes good job, Twitch, in chat, but at this point, Twitch has no idea he picked up the kill. And I think he actually thinks it's a dig that, you know, um, Gals is going... Uh, as in the bad thing from Twitch or sarcasm or something where honestly he was actually saying good job as a funny thing uh, It was I don't even know how Twitch got the credit for that Baron killing him But he did so we're not gonna complain. It's more kills for our AD carry uh, Pick up the home guard with my CDR boots and right now. I have 40% CDR uh, I've probably even have more than 40% CDR, which isn't great 
Um, but as a Vladimir, CDR is your best friend. It makes you sustain a lot more. And yeah. So as you can see in the Twitch ch in the chat, Twitch actually thinks it's sarcasm that the Nasa said. But we both go, you just got the kill from Baron. Uh, it wasn't sarcasm. It was actually a good job. And yep, you can see him reacting. Uh, it's it's pretty funny. And the, these ty types of things are actually awesome uh, when you actually look at. Because uh, they don't happen often, but they're just pretty damn funny. Uh, so Baron is up. And I think we're just going to you know go and do it. Oh, we have to be fairly careful. Vayne is bot lane, but they still have quite a lot of you know, kill potential without the Vayne, honestly. Uh, I do have a lot of sustain myself, but I think we just back out and go for a team fight. So Nasus moves in his, with his ultimate and his ghost, I think. Um, I've got my ghost running as well, and we are looking for more kills. Uh, Renekton goes into the middle of the team fight with the Fiddle. I use my ultimate on the, you know, them pair, and I think we're just going to continue now. You're going to see Fiddle's health just go boom all the way down. And then we're going to just, you know, I think just steamroll and try and kill as many things as possible. Uh, maybe we'll just go and, yeah, I think we just go and kill the inhib. So Twitch did get killed there, but I think he got grabbed by the Blitzcrank, which isn't great. But honestly, it's okay. We still came out on top of the team fight. although we'd like Twitch to still be alive. Um, you know, not all team fights we can manage to actually kill everything. Now, Vayne is going fairly aggressive on me. You can see her damage is actually quite high. Ari is somehow here. I have no idea how she's here. Use my flash to try and avoid it. Use my sustain to try and you know stop it as well. Uh, but no, I'm, I'm unable to survive. Uh, I don't really know where she came from. The Fizz is trying to do his best to try and clear as possible. And he manages to kill the Vayne. That's uh, so a good job to the Fizz. As I said, early game he did a few derpy moments. Uh, but he did really make up for it late game. He went on the right targets. He's assassinated people being the Fizz. Uh, you know, general assassin that he is. Now, that's a very speedy blitz current coming out of base, and he has to be pretty careful right now, and I don't think he manages to make it out alive. So he does use Fisho, and he is, like, maybe looking for the kill onto the blitz. Um, but, yeah, I don't think there's Ario coming out, and, yeah, he's dead. Um, so, yeah, it's an okay situation. We're just ahead in kills, being 33 to 31 ahead. I am actually got a negative score right now. Uh, being 138 but i do have 256 farm quite a lot of farm um but yeah i'm i'm doing good i'd say this game but generally i haven't picked up kills i've managed to get my hemo plague on good targets but just not picking up the final hits which is fine I, i'd rather have the final hits on the twitch who's currently got 12 kills or the fizz that has got 13 and let them kill everything i've gone tanky uh, tanky ish vlad that i'll just stand there i'll take distractions let them focus me a little bit and i'll survive it so that's kind of the thought process of what I've done this game. Uh, now, I think the game should be relatively over fairly soon within the next at least 10 minutes or maximum 10 minutes rather. And we, I want to push this bot lane. Uh, and I think this may be upcoming another dirt moment by myself. And basically we want to, as I said earlier, push as many towers as possible. And right now it's only me and Nasus here uh, where my team should be here right now. Now, Fizz is AFK. Uh, on the platform right now he's just based back and he actually stays there for quite a while um so i i don't know why he's staying there as long and then he heads over i think he's gonna try and head over to his blue but right now blue should be his least of his concerns he really should be just grouping and we're trying to get as much pressure to them as possible while the top lane is pushed that's when we want to go but unfortunately he does go over and tries to do his blue now here goes the derpy moment by me i think i can kill this um Ari, but then a vein appears and i basically die i think relatively quickly um see so yeah, i go down and then my team does go in for an engage which isn't great i'd prefer if they just backed off and not give any kills away twitch is in the back and tries to do as much as possible but yeah i will claim responsibility for this team fight i thought i could manage to do something uh, like kill the Ari, which was close but yeah it wasn't great fizz whiffs his ult and manages to miss it he does actually have ga right now uh, but he gets blown straight away. See, I will claim, you know, responsibility for that team fight. I should have just waited for the team. But I, I don't know. Maybe I was getting a bit impatient at myself. And yeah, it wasn't great. Um, so I do say we just need a group as five. Which is true. Um, Nami, as you can see in chat, she is a bit... Uh, I don't know what the word is. Uh, not a nice word, I guess. But yeah, she's not being very nice this game. She's been, I think she they had each other in the last game. They had a bit of history. And then she keeps trying to surrender. So it's just one of these annoying people. I moved the surrender vote off the screen. Because uh, I don't want to see it. And yeah, we, we can easily still win this game. This is our game to win right now. We've pushed them so much into base. Um, you know, it's in, 
it's nearly impossible for us to lose this game right now. We have a lot more team fight potential. As I said, if we're grouped as five, then we're really, really going to do well. Um, so, yeah, as you can see, Nami again is lost. And, yeah, there's just not much you can say to people that think these type of things. Um, so, yeah, we're going to try. I'm just going to farm up some wolves. We want to regroup as a team and basically not do that again what just happened we want to have these team fights we want to focus down the vein we want to kill the fiddler before we can ult them type of things are good now i am telling the team to group just in chat really quickly group mid and they are coming which is a really good sign the team is finally going to group uh, which is good now a couple things um i also say upcoming different uh, commentaries and that I think I might starting, like as I said earlier, if they were good games, I'll start doing more commentaries of the same champions I've done before. Obviously not too many. I'm not going to do, say, five of one champion. I'm talking maybe of doing one or two. Now, here's a good team fight opportunity. I managed to get my ult on, like, three of them. Fiddle does move out of the fight, but me and Fizz both jump onto the vein, and we manage to just take her out straight away. I get exhausted, which is a questionable exhaust target for me, because I'm not going to do that much damage, you know, a whole lot. Um, but yeah, this was a good team fight for us. This is why I say we want a team fight. We want to have these engages. We want to kill them over and over again. But I will all, quickly go back onto what I was saying. Um, I do have, I did like today, I played, I think, three or four games of ranked and I won all four of them. And some of them were really good games. I had a very good uh, jungle Elise game uh, again. And I think I'll post that up on the channel, uh, do another commentary of jungle Elise because I know people enjoyed the, that jungle Elise video. And yeah, I'll probably do that and maybe explain a bit more different you know, different things than I did before. So expect, you know, maybe not really repeats because they will be different games, but it's generally the same champions. Now, me and Nasus are going to take an, in an inhib, uh, you know, each. Uh, I'm going to kill the minions first just so the uh, my own minions will focus the inhib quicker because they will probably be doing more damage uh, to the inhib than I will be. So we managed to pick up two in hibs right now and me and aces have done you know a pretty good job and vein has just spawned so that's the, the target we're kind of scared of but she goes in the mid lane to clear the uh, base towers uh, so naces is able to pick up the final base tower like the outer base tower sorry and yeah we're in a really good situation i pick up my death cap so my ap has increased quite a lot more picking up also a brilliance it won't the, the cdr won't help me because i do have max cdr uh, but it's basically just there for the ap um, I do have over 500 AP right now, and being as tanky as I am, I'm at a good situation to be at. Uh, I'll be able to help the Fizz uh, kill the Vayne instantly, and that's basically what I want to do in these team fights. Now, we're going to go over and head to Baron, as basically this should be a relatively free Baron right now, uh, because they should be stuck in their base, or relatively, fairly stuck in their base. Um, so you can see the top wave is pushing, the bot wave is pushing. Mid's kind of reset, and you can see the enemy is moving over to the Baron. Now, I think we do manage to pick it up before they get in, and yet we do. Uh, now, I do get grab, but that's an okay grab, honestly. I get my Hemo Plague on four of them. Uh, so that's actually a pretty good grab, and I don't mind. You know, in certain situations, certain champions are champions you really shouldn't grab. Now, Vayne is kind of free-hitting, so me and Fizz go over and head on to our target that we always just go over and kill. Fizz kills her instantly, and this is probably GG. Uh, I flash out the way. I don't know why. I thought I could catch her, but no. So, pretty good game. I thought I had more derp moments than I did. I've, I think I only did about two derp moments this game, which isn't, which isn't bad. Uh, I think it might have been my Fizz game, actually, from memory, that I did more derp moments earlier. Uh, so you'll never see that commentary on the channel. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, anyway, thanks for watching this, guys. This was Vladimir Top with using the Black Blood Lord Vladimir skin. Pretty good legendary skin. Uh, and I think it will be one of them skins in the future that will get updated. Now, I am tanking both towers right now, which isn't great. Uh, but, yeah, going 5-4-13. Managed to get my score to positive. Also having 280-odd CS by the end of this game. Uh, so, yeah, pretty good game. Vlad is a very fun champion to play. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. And I will see you next time.